It's Bourbonite. Hello, I'm Chad. I'm Sarah. Sarah, what do we got cooking up in this flight fight? We are doing a flight fight of 107 proofs. Ah. I've been wanting to do this yes, for a while. I was getting ready to say, we've been wanting to do this for a, a while ever We've since been we about it. like discovered, hey, wait a second, there's four 107 proofs, uh, bourbons out there that we can do. But I'm actually kind of glad that we haven't done it yet because one of them recently got a facelift. That's so. right. <laughs> uh, enough said about that. Sarah, what's in this flight? In this flight, we have Weller Antique 107, the new expression of Baker's. It's a seven year 107 proof single barrel. Pure Kentucky XO at 107 proof, and Old Rip Van Winkle 10 year at 107. Okay, couple weeders, couple no, not weeders. That's true. Yeah. I hadn't even thought about that. We got a single barrel in there. Mm -hmm. We got a Willet, uh, what's it called? The Boutique? The Boutique collection. Yeah, collection. And um, of course, that is sourced. True. So, um, but yeah, two of them the Weller and the Rip Van Winkle of the same mash bill, you know, the Trace. same, uh, a lot of people call Weller baby, baby pappy. Of course, old Rip isn't exactly pappy, but it's, it's at the Van Winkle line. It's closer than Weller, I How guess. How dare you say anything different? You <laughs> ah, will be slaughtered in the comments. Slaughtered. Not by me, because <laughs> no. I've made that mistake before. Mm. It's just a force of habit, right? Yeah. Anyways. It happens. Now, this is this is uh, good. I'm looking forward to it. So let's just uh, jump in with bourbon A. Char is the first thing and that brown sugar caramel, but I also get like a it, black cherry, like almost a licorice note. Okay, I was I was gonna say uh, caramel spice, like a spiced caramel, I don't know what. Hmm. Almost like a cocktail. Okay. Yeah, but I get those uh, cherry, it's almost like cherry bitters. Yeah, um, it's that bitters in that. Which goes along with my cocktail. True. Theme. Feels <laughs> down that, slightly down that medicinal road that I sometimes stumble upon and, and then run from. Uh, <laughs> right, right, right. Shall we? Yes. Whew. Oh, wow. It's got some spice to it. Oh, wow. I do still get that like bitters, licorice, yeah. cherry, mm -hmm. medicine, a little bit in there. It always, and every time I say this, but I don't know if you've seen us before. So I, I tend to shy away from anything that comes off as slightly medicinal, which I normally find with anything that tastes like fruit and bitters. I'm not getting the medicinal, but again, I'm not as prone to it as you are. Super but susceptible. But I am getting like um, a an old fashioned. I am mm. getting the cocktail theme in there. So I think that's kind of, I'm picking up on like that, that cherry spiced mm -hmm. bitter thing. And we have been drinking some uh, old fashions here pretty recently. Yeah, it, it comes at you with a little whoof of spice. Yeah. I'd call it a um, short to medium, medium -ish. I'd call it medium finish. finish. Yeah. Not, nothing super exceptional going on as far as the texture. It's, it's, it's a little chewy. It's a little savory. You kind of bite into this one. Definitely has a lot yeah. of uh, wood notes to it. Kind of brutal. Also. Yeah. Yeah. What? I get what? way more wood ford, oak ford. No, this is. Uh, no. Well, maybe. <laughs> I don't know. Hold on. This is uh, sugared, uh, sugared peanuts, sugared almonds, uh, candied almonds. I don't. No. <laughs> <laughs> no, you're wrong. Oh, wow. This is um, dramatically different from the other nose. Yeah. It's got a little bit more of a dry, this sounds terrible, like a piece of firewood or something that's dried. And uh, I don't know. I get that, but I still, I see your sugar too. Yeah. Just, oh man. Musty, kind of faintly nutty. <sighs> Straight up dessert nose right here. Oh, you think so? Oh, yeah. I think, well, I'm experiencing this differently. Hey. I mean, I can, I get your angle, but I'm I'm all about mine right now. Well, I'm also all about mine, <laughs> okay. so we'll just have to agree to disagree. Wow. It's pretty chewy. It is. Quite it's got a little nutty. The mouthfeel. It's very it's, oily. It's nutty, it's buttery. Mm. It's like butter pecan. Kind of like a dried, yeah, well, pecans are dry. Uh, But I keep getting this like musty, airy-ness to it too. Almost, um, not vintage, but yeah, musty. I don't know. Kind of peanut buttery hmm. taste and texture, honestly. Some good spice to it. I like it. Yeah. I like it too. I'm having a hard time getting this. I just kind of get like general forest smells. <laughs> like uh, a forest smell. Yeah, a forest smell. Like foliage and right. fill in the blank. <laughs> it's no, I'm with you too. I, I agree. It's, it's like fresh and clean, but not 
much there. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I don't know. I, I have a feeling that this one will pop a little bit more after we have a sip. Let's do it then. Ooh. Whoa. That's a heavy one. That is dark. So different than the other two. So dark, so charred. A little dry. A little dry. I'm getting like a little bit of coffee, a little bit of like really bitter dark chocolate. It left my mouth dry. It kind of, yeah, it puckered the cheeks. Mm -hmm. Like it kind of sucked in like that. Are you yeah. gonna do duck face? No. Is that your version of it? No. <laughs> no, thank you. I kind of get a little bit of the, like an espresso note. It, it's super dark, super char heavy, I think. A little meringue on the nose. That came out of nowhere. Yeah. Yeah, it's kind of got this opposite subtract kind of thing going on where it's got this dark, heavy char note, but also like a bright sweetness too. And it, I don't know, but I'm like, where's the middle connecting part? After two or three sips, when you just kind of get down to it, it's mostly just this like spice, um, the cinnamon, but also sort of winter mint. I think that's sort of like the, <laughs> you know, the forest. I'm just getting like a lot of oaky notes, definitely the charred wood. And I think that's what's giving me like the dry mouth too, that like extra, extra char. Sure. I don't know. Well, that's a lot more floral. Very light. Perfume, Perfume. yeah. Maybe like a little bit of lemon zest or lemon. something that's a little citrusy. Yeah, and caramel, hmm. caramel vanilla, you know, yeah. the typical. Fairly balanced. It's got a little touch of leather in there. Yeah. A little uh, oak. For some reason, say yeah. All the oak notes are really, <laughs> and they're they've been very different, but they're all jumping out. Yeah, one's a forest, one's a campfire. <laughs> one, I said firewood. Yeah. Firewood. Um, this one's more. Which of a, comes from a forest. Uh, more of a barrel. This one's I think. It's more barrel. -y. More barrel. I forget about a already. Yeah, definitely that caramel brown sugar sweetness mm. paired with that charred wood, and I still get a little citrus, a little floral too. This, I don't know, tastes a little older to me, I don't oh, know. Oh, I see what you're putting down. Mm. But I don't know. I will say though, Chad, after this first round, none of these is like, hey, I'm the winner. Yeah, same. And sometimes when we do flight fights the first round through, I'm like, oh, it's gonna be tough to beat that yeah, one. Yeah, you gotta look out for this one. I actually don't have a front runner at this moment, which is gonna I, make round two very interesting. Well, kind of when this happens to us from, from experience, I kind of feel like everything was revealed in the second round. You know? Everything is eliminated. Illuminated? Mm -hmm. Yeah, there you go. Yeah. It's a never mind. It what? It's a book. Okay. Yeah, so we're gonna get ready, take a little break, come back and try these again. Before we do, we want to tell you about whiskeyambitions.com. It's our home on the internet for things such as these Lynn Cairns that we're drinking from, the water glass that Sarah's drinking from from, and I am too, and bourbon works. Uh, we have challenge coins, t-shirts, and uh, always more coming soon. That's whiskeyambitions.com. You can become one of our patrons at patreon.com slash it's bourbon night and join our community. Uh, we've got a great conversation going on there. We do polls, we ask for their opinion, we do patron-only podcasts, and they get the inside scoop on meetups and barrel picks. Absolutely. Okay, all right, we're gonna carve these up, take about 15, 20, come back for round two. See you then. And we're back, nice little break. All set for round two. I still get the cherry. Ooh. I mean, anyone that knows me, I think you know where my money's gonna be at on this one. The nose on this one just smells like Christmas morning. It's just so sweet. It and, is sweet. And sugary. And like herbal and, and cherry. Like, again, like that berry and herbal. Oh, I don't know if I... I get kind of minty on this one, too. I think, Ooh. I'm not gonna lie, I think it's Man. pure Kentucky XO. I think it's Willet. It, it might be, it, yeah, it might be. It's just a guess. I've been wrong before. <laughs> It's it's syrupy sweet. There, it, yeah. It, it, yeah, it's like a syrup. I still, mm. yeah, bitter, mm. cherry, licorice. Mm, I can't, other than that, I think it has a lot going on. Like yeah. it's got good, solid, you know, things that you're looking for in your bourbon. It's pretty rich. It's got a lot of flavor, but I don't like that flavor. I can pick personally. up, I can pick up that note that you're talking about when you point it out and I look for it. Otherwise it would just pass my radar. Interesting. So we differ on this one. We hmm. do. I think it's pretty good, but will it stand up will against, it? will it stand up against these others? I don't know. We'll see. I could be wrong. Oh, oh. so much nutty on this oh. time around. Oh. This The dried is... peanuts that you were talking about yes. the first round, yes. I'm on the same page this with you now. This is Joseph Brezo's- uh, Candied pecans. Candied pecans, yes, wow. It's definitely like oh. some sort of candied. Oh, this nose is incredible. Salted. It is, I it's pretty good. I love this, this wins best nose. Oh, 
Well, but you haven't even renosed the well, others. Well, I'll renose them. But okay. But oh, okay. I'll let you know if it changes. But otherwise, this one. <laughs> <laughs> or the early indication is. Mm -hmm. I love that texture. It's peanut buttery. It's very peanut buttery. It's pretty, mm. pretty. What do we? Oily, buttery, whatever. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm, nutty. Yeah. I I think the only thing that's hurting this one for me is like it's a little thin on the end. The finish is a little short, a little thin. Doesn't finish strong for me. I like the flavor a lot though. Still with that heavy, dense oak. This time I'm getting more of like a country ham. <laughs> little, little savory. A country ham stored in a charred warehouse. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. This nose is just not doing as much for me on this one. Like this one's got the nose that's the mm. hardest to get and hardest to read for it's me. interesting. So thick, so hot, 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 hot. <laughs> hot, hot, hot. <gasps> It's a, uh, is, it, is put, it, this is the only is it one. Is salty? A little, it's the only one, it's very, yeah, it's just dense. I don't know what, it's a kind of a meal. I is don't this know. one we said was dry? It is dry, round? yes. That's, okay, this time I'm like, oh, it's salty. It, it's dry and salty, I Which think. goes along, hey, with, with that country, country ham. ham. It's the only one that I've been like, I wanna put a few drops of water in. But the others I feel fine about, we don't normally put water in any, well, Sometimes well, we'll over, put a couple drops in just to over see. Over 100 is kind of our threshold. If it's over 100, we'll play with, you know, putting some water in, but not in flight fights. No, not in flight fights. And this is the only one that I find myself wanting to, like, take an immediate drink. Like, yeah. it is very dry. Well, now that we're acclimated, let's go second sip. I mean, not as bad second time, but yeah, it's still kind of... Spice. Spicy. Super spicy. Sea salt. Like, it's just like... And dry. Dry. I mean, good. It is good. It's good. It's. I feel like I, I, I feel the proof more on this one than I do like A, for it example. It feels the highest proof to me. Yeah, this one feels every bit of 107. If we blinded this, I would put this at, I would probably have said like between 110 and 115. Mm. Ha, ah, the nose of maturity. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and like. It just feels balanced, you know? Like yeah. it's got, I can't pull one thing out immediately, but I can smell a lot of things. Mm -hmm. Does that make sense? So they're all doing a very good job of uh, collaborating. We'll say. Yeah, I mean, I think at the base of it is your classic caramel vanilla, but with that oaky note. Yeah, and I don't that know that, that oaky, the little yeah, a little, little citrus, a little acid in there, a little bit of leather, little bit leaning mm. on tobacco. Just a nice little mix. It's a really good nose. Not se second second favorite. Uh, <laughs> we, I wasn't ready. Yeah. Yeah. It's just well rounded, mm -hmm. and it has like. Again, it's like a medium finish. Mm. It's got a pretty good mouthfeel. It's pretty balanced. It's got a lot of the flavors that I would pick out. Yep. It's like a, 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 a really good value medium rare steak. Like it's not the best steakhouse. You always go back to steak. <laughs> I love steak. It's not the best steakhouse out there, but it's the best steak on the menu at, at that, steak. that steakhouse. <laughs> And it's like a solid steakhouse. It's not like yeah, you said. Yeah, it's not. I could get down on that all I night. Could, yeah, yeah. yeah. Mm. That's some good stuff. It is. Mm. Second second round. Now I feel like there have been ones who've been raising their hand a little bit more, uh, which didn't happen in the first agreed. round. Agreed. But it's still gonna be tough. It is gonna be tough. Yeah. I. I it's like I, I kind of think I know my first two, and I kind of think I know my bottom two, but we're all winners here. <laughs> we're all winners. But this is the part where we start A-B testing things back to back that we didn't have back to back mm -hmm. in our uh, first two rounds. So, so things could change. Things could always change. So we're gonna leave you, we're gonna A-B test these, we're gonna concentrate, and then we'll be back for results time, all right? All right. All right. All right, we're back. We have got our order, and now it is results time. Results time, Sarah. <sighs> um, by our little way that we arrange glasses, it looks like we don't exactly have the same order. No, we do not. Looks uh, like we have a different fourth place. That's true. Okay. Yes. Why don't you tell me what my last place is? I will tell you what your last place is, Chad. Your fourth place, because no one's really coming in last year. Not on this flight. Your fourth place, Chad, is Baker's. Oh no! This is the Baker's seven year single uh, barrel. Well. That blows your theory for what B is. <laughs> yeah, it really does. Well, first time I'd had it, honestly, the new single mm -hmm, barrel version. Mm -hmm. So, interesting. Okay, um, you put A yes, in fourth place. That's so, correct. Sarah, your fourth place is. Mm. 
Sarah, your fourth place is old. <laughs> is old. Old. It's not even old. It's it's Weller Antique. What? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, what? They drop the old. It's what? Just this is full of surprises. Antique 107. Two surprises. Listen, uh, the the biggest surprise here, the biggest surprise here is that Pure Kentucky XO is in the top two. Whoa, you're right. That means it's Pure Kentucky XO and Old Rip. <laughs> old Rip Van Winkle tenure. You didn't think oh, you'd have those just in a casual in the same top two sentence, right? No, if anything, I thought that that my A was the was the Pure Kentucky, the yes. and that now there would be two Buffalo Traces in the top two. Right. And that, everything's just gone to hell here. I don't know. You thought everything was right in the world, turns out it's not. It's I just, chaos. It just turns out yeah. I don't know anything no, about anything. You know what you like. It's true. And, and your tastes don't lie. Neither taste, do your hips. Mm, no, never do that again. Okay. <laughs> what it does mean is we have the first same and we have the first same and first. First, we have same and first. The same first and second. That's right. Place. Mm -hmm. um, so we're gonna do our first. Which is? Letter D. Urban D. And that is? The Old Rip Van, Van Winkle, Winkle tenure. tenure. Yes. Which means that second place, B, is Pure Kentucky, Kentucky XO. XO. Pure Kentucky, Kentucky XO. XO. Whoa! I mean, that was well, like the first solo uncorking I ever did. But it's uh, not this bottle. It's a different bottle. Right. Um, actually, that was the second one. Second solo uncorking. Oh, that's right. Yeah. Oh, geez, that first one was real bad. First one was on your phone. It was on my phone. What a time to what be alive. What a time to be alive. We've commented about how there's been a, uh, in our taste buds, mm -hmm. a decline in Willet products. But it seems like that Pure Kentucky XO has been the one that is sort of... It's remained steady. Prevailed? Yeah. Now, it would be interesting to research this bottle of Pure Kentucky XO. Like mm -hmm. you said, it wasn't the one that we originally uncorked, but I do feel like it is a little bit of an older bottle that we, we... Hold, held on to a, a, for a while before we opened it. Just wanted to break in here real quickly because we did do research after filming this episode on that bottle of Pure Kentucky XO, and it turned out to be a lot older than we thought. Turns out it comes from November of 2014. Now we filmed that original uncorking in 2016, probably polished that off at some point and then bought our second bottle, I would think in 17 or 18. So that means it must've been sitting around for a while wherever we bought it. So take, uh, I guess that second place victory with a little bit of a grain of salt. It might be different with a bottle of today. We're not sure. And in fact, if that's something you all would be interested in us exploring, 2014 bottle versus one from today. Let us know down in the comments and that's something that maybe we can do on a live episode. Special thanks goes out to Matt from the Whiskey Crusaders, another great whiskey channel here on YouTube for the research on that Willet bottle to find out exactly when it was from. Thanks, Matt. Back to the show. Uh, we had said that we thought that there were maybe two that were kind of jumping out as front runners, but we weren't sure which ones. And those were the two, B and D, so mm -hmm. the Pure Kentucky XO and the Old Rip 10. Yeah. Uh, I would say it was somewhat close. Um, wow. Not not neck and neck, but it was closer than you would expect for something that you can walk out and buy on the shelf for 40 bucks and then something that, what is this, uh, RIP 10 costs what? 80? Oh, I think it's about 70. 70, 80, but then you can't walk out and buy that. You gotta stand right. in line, you gotta wait, you gotta get your name drawn on a lottery. Or pay secondary, which you shouldn't do. Which you should not do. Wow, what a day. What a world. Well, this was fun. What a world. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it is. Uh, and that's why you should do things blind, folks. That's why you, just, you should do it blind. You just never know. You can say, oh, this is what I would pick. This would be my order all day long. But until you actually do it blind, do it. Come talk to us then, I guess. Don't come at me, bro, until you've done it blind. <laughs> that's so. right. Yeah, plus it's fun. It is fun. Yeah, we love doing this. All right, hey, if you haven't subscribed already, you can do so by clicking right up here. There's also suggestions of other videos down here. We hope to see you over there in those. Thanks, Sarah. Thanks, Chad. All right, until next time, drink more bourbon. At 107 Proof.